Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narogate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narogate Channel. Let us learn together its operation. Give Jesus your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The onus lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen king. In him I hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. I'm going to do part three of the sins of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord. I will attach part one and part two for those who haven't listened it will be much more easier if you please watch part one and part two. We want to understand, beloved, that why God was so angry with the children of Israel to a point of scattering them abroad all over the world due to their sins, due to their disobedience. The kings that were reigning in Judah and in Israel. They went warring with other gods and the anger of God was kindled. Praise the name of the Lord I have shared in part one and in part two that Israel was divided into two nations because of what King Solomon did. God warned them not to marry wives from other nations. But King Solomon married so many wives. And they led him to idol worship. His ways were no longer pleasing unto the Lord. And I shared, beloved, that when our father says no to something, it is for our own good. He is protecting us. Even after Israel was divided into two nations, the king of Israel, the king of Judah, they were worshipping foreign gods. There were only few kings, beloved, who feared the Lord. But I will continue with the deities that the children of Israel were worshipping. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to read the word of God from the book of Judges chapter 2 from verse 1 up to verse 3. The word of God says, And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochim and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I swear unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. And ye shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. Ye shall throw down their altars, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Why have ye done this? Wherefore, I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their gods shall be as nay unto you. That is the word of God, beloved, the angel of the Lord telling the children of Israel that they did not obey the words of the Lord that he gave to Moses. So he told them that he is not going to drive out all the heathens from the land. And he said their gods shall be a snare unto the children of Israel. And it happened like that, beloved. They really started worshipping foreign gods. I have shared in part two that they were even sacrificing their children alive to these foreign deities. Their deeds were evil unto the Lord. They were pouring drinks to the queen of heaven. God sent Jeremiah to tell them to stop. And they said to prophet Jeremiah, we are not going to stop offering drinks to the queen of heaven. They were worshiping the, the sun, I have shared as well. They were worshipping the moon. 
yet they were still going to the temple. I, I have shared that message as well, where God said that he does not want their sacrifices. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm going to read the word of God from the book of 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 5. The word of God says, For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. I have shared about Milcom. Today I'm going to focus on Ashtoreth, the groves, or Asherah. This is one of the goddess that the children of Israel were worshipping. I have shared about the Zidonians. I said that is where Queen Jezebel, the wife of King Ahab, was coming from. Her father was a king from Zidon. So she was a princess from Zidon. People who stayed there, they were called Phoenicians. And you remember that there were 400 prophets of the groves or Asherah that were eating from Jezebel's table. The 450 were the prophets of Baal. So in total, there were 850 prophets who were eating from Queen Jezebel's table. We have shared about Queen Jezebel and her deeds. The video is there, beloved. So I won't go into details. So I want us to focus on this deity that Solomon was now worshipping due to his wives, beloved, that God warned him not to marry from those nations. The same like King Ahab. I have shared with you that the word of God says the deeds of King Ahab were worse than those kings that were before him because of his wife, Queen Jezebel, this uh, princess from Zidon, because they were warned not to marry from there. So before I go into the book of law, I just want us to understand this Ashira or the grove or Ashtoreth. So I'm just going to go through the slides. We're going to touch some scriptures. I'm not going to share all of them because they are many, but we will have a better understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. So this deity is called Ashtoreth, Ashira, or the groves. Ashira was the name of the chief female deity worshipped in ancient Syria, Phoenicians, and Canaan. I have shared about the Phoenicians. Uh, the Phoenicians are the people who stayed in uh, Zidon. The Phoenicians called her Astarte. The Assyrians worshipped her as Easter. And the Philistines had a temple of Ashira. We get that in 1 Samuel chapter 31, verse 10. I will quickly read. And they put his armor in the house of Ashtoreth. They fastened his body to the wall of Bethshan. That was the armor of King Saul after he was killed by the Philistines. So the word of God is saying there that they put his armor in the house of Ashtoreth. So Ashtoreth was their idol. Praise the name of the Lord. I will continue. Ashira was represented by a limbless tree trunk planted in the ground. Because of the association with carved trees, the places of Ashira worship were commonly called groves. Ashira is referred to the goddess or to a grove of trees. And we find that in 2 Kings 21, I will read uh, shortly. Israel was in adulterous worship with this goddess, which was an apostate behavior in Israel and sinful before the Lord. So I'm going to read the word of God from the book of 2 Kings chapter 21. I will read verse 7. The word of God says, And he set a graven image of the grove that he had made in the house, of which the Lord said to David and to Solomon, his son, In this house 
and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all tribes of Israel, will I put my name forever. That was the wickedness of Manasseh, beloved. He took a graven image of the grove that he has made and put it in the house of the Lord. The house of the Lord that God told David and Solomon that this is my house that shall be called by my name forever. But King Manasseh, he took this idol and put it in the house of the Lord. Just imagine such an abomination the children of Israel were doing. No respect of the house of the Lord. They were taking these graven images, putting them right inside the house of the Lord. Instead of them going to worship wherever, but they were bringing them right inside the house of the Lord. So we will understand why God was so angry with what they were doing. The worship of this deity was done in high places like his or under the thick trees. And we find that in Jeremiah and in the book of Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 28. So I will quickly read those scriptures. Jeremiah 17 from verse 1. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is given upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. All oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil and the high places for sin throughout all thy borders. So the beautiful mountains that God gave unto them, they were using them to worship the grove. Praise the name of the Lord. As the word of God says that their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the hills. This is what the children of Israel were doing. Again, I will read Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 28. For when I had brought them into the land, for they which I lifted up mine hand to give it to them, then they saw every high hill and all the thick trees, and they offered there their sacrifices, and there they presented the provocation of their offering. There also they made their sweet savior and pour out there their drink offerings. Again, beloved, the Lord is saying, I brought them into this land. And when I look, I see in every high hill and thick trees, the children of Israel were there, beloved, doing their sacrifices, offering their sacrifices. So we get to see that that's how they were doing their sacrifices on high places, high hills, under the thick trees. Worshipping idols, beloved. Things that they were forbidden. And let us look at what Moses said in the book of law concerning this worship, beloved, that the children of Israel were doing. I will read from Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 21 to 22. The word of God says, Thou shalt not plant thee a grove of any trees near unto the altar of the Lord thy God, which thou shalt make thee. Neither shalt thou set thee up any image which the Lord thy God hateth. And it's exactly what King Manasseh did. He took that graven image straight unto the house of the Lord. The graven image of the grove. That's what the word of God says. He took it into the house of the Lord. The abomination and wickedness. The kings of Judah were doing, beloved. Not only the kings of Judah. Including the kings of Israel as well. Those that were ruling Israel from Samaria. Like King Ahab. So after the death of Joshua, 
the children of Israel, they started worshipping this Ashtoreth or Asherah. And I will read that in Judges chapter 2 verse 13. The word of God says, And they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. That is it, beloved. It is self-explanatory. And I have shared about King Manasseh who set a graven image right into the house of the Lord. So many Israelite leaders worshipped Asherah, beloved. I shared about Queen Jezebel as well. And I'm going to read from 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 19, so that we can hear. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of the groves, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. I have shared this in the beginning of the message. So we can see that the 400 prophets of the groves were eating at Jezebel's table, as the word of God said. And they were forbidden according to Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 21, that they must not worship the groves. They must not make these graven images and worship them. Neither take them to the house of the Lord. So many leaders of Israel were sinning before the Lord, beloved. They were worshipping this goddess of the Zidonians. King Solomon's several wives, they were worshipping this goddess as well. The goddess of the Zidonians, as I have shared in the beginning. Praise the name of the Lord. So this goddess, Asherah, or the grove, or Ashtoreth, was also identified as the moon goddess who belonged to the family of gods associated with Baal, the sun god. We get that in Judges chapter 3, verse 7. Judges chapter 3, verse 7, the word of God says, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and forgot the Lord their God, and served Baalim and the groves. Again, we get to see, beloved, the evil that the children of Israel were doing. They forgot about their God, beloved, and they were serving Baal and the groves. And they were warned, beloved, by Moses. The word of God says they did evil in the sight of the Lord. This idol worship, it's an abomination unto the Lord. In Judges chapter 6, verse 28, we see God raised Gideon to bring down these altars. Praise the name of the Lord. I will read. The word of God says, And when the men of the city arose in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast down, and the grove was cut down. Praise the name of the Lord. We see there that Gideon destroyed that image of the grove. The high places were often on the hill above town like Rama, And we find that in 1 Samuel chapter 9 verse 12 up to 14. This was before Saul became a king of Israel. So like I explained earlier that the uh, sacrifices were done in high places which were by the hills as I have read in the word of God. So King Manasseh built an altar and burned incense in the high places. And we find that in 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 5. They worshipped the host of heaven, the moon, the sun, and the planets. I will read 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 5. And he put down the adulterous priests, whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem. Them also that burn incenses unto Baal, to the sun, to the moon, to the planets, and to all the hosts of heaven. This is said, beloved, what the children of Israel were doing. So they were worshipping foreign gods, they were worshipping the host of heaven, they were worshipping the moon, the sun, 
So we get to understand why God was so angry with them. Why he scattered them abroad. Praise the name of the Lord. So I will end it here for this video. We will continue. So now I have shared about Ashtoreth, also known as the Groves. Then in the next video, I'm going to cover Baal. So that's it for this video. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.